Hello everyone, Hong here and welcome back to the channel. So over the years, due to work commitment and passion, I've amassed a relatively large collection of camera equipment. And protecting these expensive investments is without doubt a key priority. Now these hard cases have served me for many, many, many years. However, as the collection grows, so does the need for reliable and robust hard cases. But as many of you already know, good ones tend to be heavy and bulky. So when Pelican released their range of Pelican Air hard cases, I was tempted. So tempted, in fact, it took me over five years to decide if this was absolutely necessary. But considering how camera equipment has evolved over the years to be better, faster, and lighter, I thought it was about time. So here we are with the new, for me, Pelican 1535 Air. Made from durable and super lightweight HPX2 polymer, the Pelican Air 1535 tips the scale at only 3.9 kilograms when empty, about 40% lighter than its predecessor. For my setup, once the track pack dividers are installed, will weigh approximately 5.4 kilograms. Measuring at 21.96 inches in length, 13.97 inches in width, and 8.98 inches in depth on the exterior, you will be able to bring this with you as a carry-on luggage on the plane. It is equipped with a pair of stainless steel bearing wheels and a retractable extension handle for smooth and easy rolling. There are two handles on the case, the main handle being the thicker one with more girth for a better grip, as well as a thinner one up top. Next to the main handle is a hard plastic business card holder, but since the world has already evolved to the point where business cards are obsolete, I'll be printing out a QR code that links to my website instead. By the way, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Another important and almost iconic feature of Pelican cases is the automatic purge valve, designed to work flawlessly to keep moisture and dust out while maintaining a balanced air pressure on the insides. To keep the lid firmly closed are a pair of durable latches that clamp down like the jaws of life, as well as two padlock holes for you to keep your valuables inside safe and secure. Jumping back into the interior, the case measures some 20.39 inches in length, 11.20 inches in width, and 7.21 inches in depth when completely empty. Naturally, depending on what dividers you use on the inside, or if you're using the foam blocks, the available space and volume will be a tad different. And now for the final and ultimate test, 70 kilograms. So, my first impressions, there's no doubt that the build quality is superb and will probably withstand a whole lot of chucking around. Moving on, let's get some measurements of my equipment. That sounded wrong. I'm talking about camera equipment and followed by getting the track pack cut and installed into the case. All right, so before I forget, there's also this welcome to the family warranty guide a case care instruction guide on how to maintain your case and also a suffocation risk warning sign. So don't put your babies, in fact, don't put any living organisms into the case. If like me, you got the track pack version, you're also gonna get this user guide on how to cut your track pack, how to make the measurements. So these are the divider boards that come with the track pack kit. You're gonna get this track pack cutter. So you basically insert the cutter into those little square boxes or square gaps and then pull really hard to cut your board. 
Now obviously once you've cut them, there's no way to put them back. So that's why you gotta measure twice, cut once. You're also gonna get a pack of these metal connectors that connect the boards or the dividers, as well as two packs of these little red pull tabs that you will attach to the set. I'll show it to you. All right, so this is how I'll do it, standing up to get a bird's eye top-down view. Place the divider you're planning to cut, then use a second divider to line up the edges. And then use the cutter as a marker by slotting it in. So now that the cutter has been inserted into the divider, the next step is to pull down on the cutter to slice the divider. Let's give this a go. It's actually not too difficult at all. And there we have it, the divider board has been cut. Now what I did was to leave one extra gap so I could make adjustments if needed. Skimming away is possible only when you leave yourself that little extra. And there we have it, a perfect fit. The next thing you'll want to do is to take these connectors that are in the package, add one of these red fabric tabs which will also make pulling out the connectors easier if you have to make adjustments. You then slot the connectors into the gaps to secure the dividers in place. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who are using the Pelican Air case, please do leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. And for those of you who are curious about the case, feel free to leave me a comment as well, and I'll get back to you about what I think about the case. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. And if you've liked the video, as always, like the video. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.